evil. For when a house hath once been shaken from heaven, there in the curse veiled, nevermore, passing from life to life of the grace, even as in the search you've been up over the darkness of the deep. By the, the fierce breath of the Thracian sea winds, it yes. rolls up the black sand from the depths, and there is so and roar from wind vexed headlands and from the flows of the storm. I see that at the olden times, when the saw was in the house of Latinkar, heaped upon the saws of the dead. And a generation is not free by generation. But some God strikes them down, and the race hath no deliverance. For now that hope in which the life had been spread above the last root of the house of Oedipus is in turn brought low by the blood-stained dust into the gods of birth. And by folly and speech, and plenty at the heart, <laughs> thy power, O Zeus, what you trespass can limit. That power which neither sleep, the all ensnaring, nor the untiring months of the gods can master. But thou, a ruler to whom time brings on old age, dwellest in the dazzling splendor of Olympus. And through the future, near and far, through the past shall this law hold good. Nothing that is vast enters into life of mortals without a curse. Nothing that is vast enters into life of mortals without a curse. Nothing that is vast enters into life of mortals without a curse. Nothing that is vast enters into the life of mortals without a curse. We have survived the monstrous waves which have battered our cities. Loss, pain, suffering, ended! The gods have steadied our waters. As your king, I wish to declare my peace with our past. We are united! No more perils! We return from the madness! United as one! We will return this city to its former glory. Hail, Priya! We will not forget those who have honored us. Hail, Priya! Brave Ateocles died fighting for this city and will be buried tonight. Brave Ateocles, hero! Those like Polynices, determined to see this city burned and ruined, and who fought against and betrayed all you glorious people of Thebes. The penalty for those who defy me is death.
It's not fair that he's left. We are all that we have left. It's not fair that we cannot bury our own brother. So you want them to bury us as well? I cannot stand! Looking out there and seeing him. I know. There are already vultures hovering over his body. I know. Any second they're gonna swoop down and he just lies there waiting, waiting for me. But we can't, we really can't. You know this, you know this, right? No one else will bury them. Antigone, are we supposed to sit and let our brother be eaten by birds? That's not? By beast. Calm yourself. I loved him. I loved him, his me. I love you. I love you more than anything else in the world. I know you love me too. What good will burying him do if it costs you your life? Without you, I'd have no family left. We shouldn't have to choose. I know. But would you rob me of my last sibling? My sister? Think of what others may say. How dare you! Betray me! Betray Cleopatra's death! Think of what our family would say. My son! My brother! He must be honored! He must! Not by us, Antigone! We are not at fault! But it is our right! It is your right to be killed! Because that's what they'll do to your sister, they'll kill you. I beg of you, think of me. Think of him and your love. Think of your future and the children you will have. Think of the stories you and I will be able to tell them. Why would I have children if they were to be born in a world like this? Polynices wrote to me. He wrote to me too. I wrote back. And I told him. I told him it would be foolish to conspire against Thebes. But he didn't listen. No. Maybe if I had been more convincing. No, Antigone. This isn't your fault. I wrote to him and begged him not to do it too, but he made his choice. He did. Only he could make it. And only we can honor him. Antigone. The dead cannot bury themselves. They cannot choose how long they will haunt us either. Only we can. It's just you and I now, Antigone. I mourn for our brothers. I shall keep mourning. Please, sister, do not abandon me. Ismini. Ismini, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. I don't know what's come over me. Sorry. You won't do it? No. Thank you, sister. There's still time for us to arm him around. Tonight, we bury our honorable dead, for they have sacrificed for Thebes. For Thebes! We bury it to you, please. And those who have honored our great city. The hell to you, please! Long live Thebes. And let those bodies in the field remain there as a reminder that those who are against us, those who defy us, those who are not one of us shall no longer tarnish our great city. For Thebes! Matter. Nothing, I'm fine. You're crying. I told you I'm fine. Is it Paul Nices again? No. When we spoke of him before, you know, I didn't see him as a traitor. I saw. We see things very differently. 
I don't mean to. Hold me. You're not going to tell me? I told you I'm fine. Is it about the wedding? Oh, hang on. If it's about the wedding, don't worry. Do you remember? Remember what? The night we ran along the edges of the water? Near Athens? Yes. Of course. I remember the chilled water on my toes, the grass grazing my knees. All those petals in the river. You picked them out and put them in my hair. You were so upset. You don't know how long I spent on that just for you to pick up flower petals and put them in my hair. Hey, I was nervous too. I didn't know how to touch you without being strange. I wanted to come across as natural and confident. It was still strange. I know. <coughs> I should have thought of something more clever than putting wet flowers in your hair. No. It was perfect. You know, that is the moment I knew I loved you. I knew from the first moment I saw you. I missed that. What is there to miss? I'm right here. You know, you're going to be a mother of a prince one day. Yes. We will take him to that same river and show him where he first said, I love you. Yes. Think of it. Our children, in a world like this, can you imagine? Do you want more flowers at the wedding? No. Why? Well, I asked you if you were upset about the wedding and you brought up flowers. No, I... I wasn't talking about the flowers. Okay. Hammond? Hey, yes? Do you think they'd like it? What? Us? No. The world. Well, of course. And we've always talked about having several children. For our sake as well as theirs, one would be lonely. Wouldn't you rather a son and a daughter? Brother and sister? Exactly. Daughters and sons. Little brothers and sisters. Yes. You would tell me if something was wrong. I would. Good. I know you have suffered a great loss. I told you I'm fine. I know, but I want you to know that I'm here, that I love you, that I want to have children with you, and just to show them how beautiful the world is with you in it. Oh, Haman, I love you too. Excuse me, I have to go. Can we talk again later? Of course. Good. I love you, Antigone. I love you too, Heyman. I'm the happiest man in the world. Careful, Antigone. Remember Creon's decree. Would you risk all that is yours for your brother, who is no longer among us? Polynices must be honored. Ateocles was buried. Her family has an honor. I must not listen to these doubts. My brothers were traitors, but heroes still. Both deserve respect. The guards will see you, Antigone. Let them see me. I will fight. The steel of their swords will cause greater blows than the earth in your hands. I will not be deterred. Hail, Rhea, King of Thieves! I'm the happiest man in the world. Glory to Thieves! Long live its people! And I'll lose my sister. 
death to all traitors. He shall remain unburied. The steel of their swords has greater blows in the earth in your hands. There he is. to rest in your eternal dwelling for all eternity. A coin lies in his hand as speed to travel safely to your land. With his body at last anointed, I pray that his soul passes safely to you. You! You! Stop! Stop! What is this? What is this? Swear to the king! Swear to the king! What are you doing? Antigone! You have been summoned! I have been dragged! You have been summoned before us! The courts will hear you. Is it true, uncle? Have I been summoned? Antigone, you have conspired against the Against its people! Against the gods! Conspired, uncle? <laughs> Antigone! You have committed a grave offense! The gods have demanded! Creon has demanded! Your brother! was to remain untouched. He was not to be buried. This is your crime! Antigone, how do you plead? Do you admit to these offenses, or do you deny them? What would you have me say, dear uncle? What would please you? She is denying the charges. She, she's an enemy of the state. She's, kill me then. But I know the law. And I know what I've done is right. Antigone must be punished. The gods have demanded it. We are their servants, Creon. They have. Leave us. I held you when you were a child. You held my brothers, too. Your mother and I shared blood, Antigone. Do you understand? I have done nothing wrong. She was my sister, and you are her daughter. You are her child. Do you understand? I have it. I will speak to my sister's daughter. I. I will speak to my niece. However, I will not speak to this woman with fire stuck behind her eyes, but my niece, you are shameful. Do you understand what it is you have done? Completely. Do you understand that you have broken the law? I have done what is right. Yes or no? I have done what is yes right. Yes or no? Yes. Can you picture her? Can you see what your mother would have done with you here, having committed such a horrid? She would have done the same. Shameful, you wicked and spiteful child. She would have thrown herself at my feet and begged and sought for me to spare you. Think of how my sister would have suffered. <laughs> how odd. I am shameful, yet I feel no shame nor fear, nor doubt over what I have done. What I feel is justice. You have disobeyed the gods. The gods gave no order! I gave an order! Then I have only disobeyed you. Antigone, the people of Thebes will not side with you. You are a traitor to them and a traitor to their gods. You are my sister's daughter. My blood is her blood and her blood is yours. I would not have you killed. You will pay for your treason, but not with your life. When I resummon my counsel, you must make amends. You must repent to the people of Thebes for what you have done. This is not a request, Antigone. This is a demand. That love you have for your sister, my mother, that is the love I feel for my brothers. You refuse to let me bury. Antigone, please. Only you have the power to spare me. They won't side with you. You do not know your own people. Members of the court. Counsel, 
I am a woman. I was gifted with all the friends I could ever have at birth. I have two brothers and a sister. Antigone! I do not regret the love I feel for them. I would give up my freedom, my eyes, my tongue, before I would wrong them in life or death. Then it is said. It is treason. What says Creon? Guilty. 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 Coward. What? Coward? How shall she be punished? She was warned. The gods gave no order. She was given an explanation. The gods demanded. Nevertheless, you persisted. How shall she be punished? Death. Antigone. My king, my dearest uncle, so easily were you swayed by the court. Take her to her tomb. No food, no water. Antigone, what have you done? It's over. What's over? What is she talking about? She is admitted to bearing the traitor. She wouldn't. You wouldn't, right? I'm sorry, Haman. This was your bride-to-be. Did you not know her? Antigone? Did you not know what was in her heart? How could you do this to me? To our future! She's not just a traitor to Thebes. She has betrayed you. Haman! Wait! Don't leave! You can't! You left me first. King Creon, Tiresias has come to see you. Tiresias, my dear friend, you've traveled far. What brings you? Recent times have been quite Eventful in Thebes. Quite so. My niece Antigone has... <laughs> Troublesome, is she? To put it lightly. Ah, the youth! Aren't they all? Not like this. Defiance. Disobedience. Disregard for your word. Treason. Ah, I have foreseen this in many things alike. Tiresias, tell me. What do you know? What have you seen? My friend, bad omens have manifested. How so? Birds! Talons! Thrashing! Screeching! Blood! Screams! Cries! My heart pounded! My ears throbbed! I had barely escaped them to light the sacrificial fire. The gods failed to keep its flames alive. From charred thigh bones came a wretched slime, smoking and sputtering, draining into the ashes. What does this mean? My friends, I had never experienced a prophecy like this before. Creon, Thebes is infected. Because of your actions, the gods will not accept our prayers. They will not accept our offerings from our hands. No birds now sing. <laughs> this is my fault? Please, Creon, do not provoke the gods any further. There. You have what you want. It's there on the floor. You have your money, old man. Do you not realize? Realize what? What are you after? It's there on the floor. I came here as a friend. I didn't ask that of you. Then I leave you with this. You have thrown children from the sunlight down to the shades of Hades. Before the sun rises, you will lose one of your own. Do not threaten me, prophet. You house a living girl in a sunless tomb. You have robbed a corpse of the mourning that it is owed. We must pay the dead the respect that they deserve. Trust me, the gods will punish you for these crimes. You have broken this tradition and ensured a fallen heir of thieves is not given respect. It will not be long before women and men of your own home well, well, hatred will manifest in thieves. Your prophecies are the delusions of an expired mind. You know nothing. Nothing! I am right. Surely I am. He's just an old fool. He's been wrong before. Hasn't he? I gave an order. She defied me. 
Defy her people. No one can be above the law, and she brought this upon herself. I am right. I have to be. Antigone! <coughs> I have done the right thing. I understand that in your eyes this is right, but if you would just... The noble thing. The godly thing. I have made my mark in the time that we are given. It's only short because you made it so. You had many years ahead of you only yesterday. In one swoop, you buried those years away with our brother. Our brother should not have been buried. Had I wished for our brother to be buried, I would have betrayed them all. Had I wished for his body to stay above the ground, I would have betrayed you. I cannot support either side. Ismini, if you had to choose. Enough, Anthony, I've already told you. If you had to, I would choose nothing. I would choose for all of this to be over. I am tired, Antigone. I am tired of this. Oh. You're tired? Well, by all means, go. <coughs> Rest. It's not like I'll have much choice anyways. <coughs> We lost them both, both our brothers. Say what you might about where they may be now, but they are no longer here with us. He may not have been loved by all, but he was loved by us, and I would have rather lived with the guilt of his tarnished reputation than you by my side, than the knowledge that his body was properly buried at the absence of your hand and mine. I know you see me as weak. Maybe I am. You could have joined me, but you didn't. Please, just leave. Do you remember the story Mother used to tell us at night? The one of the sisters born with each other's hearts. You'd make her tell it again and again, sometimes twice a night. We never got to hear another story. I was so mad at you. I thought it was so unfair. You were stubborn, even then. I could tell it to you now if you'd like. Once, there were two sisters, born with each other's hearts. Please, say something, anything. Antigone, I'm sorry. No. I'm so ashamed. I'm sorry, sister. I couldn't stop you. I wouldn't let you. Please, there must be some way. My sweet, sweet sister. Are you sick? Do you hurt? No. I'm just cold. I wish I had something for you. <coughs> oh, sister, I am sorry. The guards will come soon and I'll have to go. How does it end? The tale of the two sisters. Don't be silly, you know. Tell me anything. They took the children to the doctor, but there was nothing they could do. The hearts were in the wrong bodies. They couldn't take them out from the sisters, not even for a moment, because it would kill them. So they have to live for each other. Live for me is me. 
What? Time. Antigone? It's okay. It's wonderful. Antigone? I love you, isn't it? Is this where my path finally ends? My life cut short by my own hand. Will I be honored or will I decay in this wretched tomb? Flesh picked away by time. Where are the gods that I have fought for? Where are they? Where are they? Now that I am here, all that I have done, all that I have dreamed, will die. Would you risk all that is yours for your brother? He's no longer among us. This is buried. Your family has been honored. The guards will see you, Antigone. I didn't see him as a traitor. I cannot lose my sister. He shall remain unburied. The world will stand with you, Antigone. The city of thieves sings for you. Outside, the people are wailing. We forgive you, Antigone. I will exist eternally in hellfire. But I will be reborn amongst my brothers. I have to see her. Haman. Father, I have to make amends. She betrayed us. Father, please. Make it quick. No! My son. Don't touch me! Amen. I was to have life with her. You knew that. You destroyed it. Amen, please. What? What can you possibly have to say to me? I didn't want this for her either. But she knew the consequences. Which you said! I'm not your son. You're not my father. You never were! Amen, I'm sorry. You coward! Amen!
once. There were two sisters, born with each other's hearts. Lost. They took the sisters to the doctor, but there was nothing they could do. Pain. The hearts were in the wrong bodies. Suffering. They couldn't take them out from the sisters. Not even for a moment. Because it would kill them. So they lived for each other. I will live for you, Antigone. <laughs> 